Fans, we have a special announcement to make before we get into the homecoming festivities. It's Billy J. Bird's birthday today. <laughs> Our third honoree is Jimmy Ray Haynes. Yay! When WJC Hall of Fame coach Fred Fluke returned to Jewel to take over the baseball program in the 1975-76 school year, one of the key recruits he brought with him from Crowder Community College was Jimmy Ray Haynes. According to Coach Fluke, Jimmy Ray was the key to the pitching staff and the immediate success of the program. This three-year letter winner had a winning streak of 11 in a row in his first season with the Cardinals, including a no-hit game versus Iowa State. During his three-year career, the Cardinals won the Heart of America Athletic title all three years and reached the NAIA National Tournament t twice. Congratulations, Jimmy Ray Haynes! I played with the Pattons. Gary was my catcher and Chris played third base. He, I think he's an attorney here in Kansas City. And Coach Fluke was my coach and Jack was, played baseball with him and his brother. He's from Missouri City, which is just right down the road here a little ways. It's a little low bitty place.
Turn to Jewel to take over the baseball program in the 1975-76 school year. One of the key recruits he brought with him from Crowder Community College was Jimmy Ray Haynes. According to Coach Fluke, Jimmy Ray was the key to the pitching staff and the immediate success of the program. His three-year letter winner had a winning streak of 11 in a row in his first season with the Cardinals, including a no-hit game versus Iowa State. Let me repeat that: a no-hit game versus Iowa State. That probably deserves a round of applause. <laughs> in his career, the Cardinals won the, the Harvard American Athletic Conference title every year and reached the NAI National Tournament twice. Congratulations, Jimmy Ray Haynes. I'd just like to thank the selection committee. It's a great honor for me this evening. I'd also like to thank my coach, Coach Fluke, who is an Hall of Fame member and one is the coach of the 1968 National Championship baseball team. Coach Fluke, uh, one of the stories on him, one day he walked into the locker room and he said, uh, you guys want to play games or you want to eat well? Meaning, you know, he's only got so much money for the program, and so if we want to play a bunch of ball games, then we're not going to eat very well. But, uh, so we said, Coach, we want, to, we want to play ball, that's why we're here. And, uh, that was a, well, a memorable moment there. I'd also uh, like to thank my teammates. You know, baseball was a, a, a team game. Without them, I would not be here this evening. We had, the, had the, the guys score the runs and uh, back me up. Had a, had a couple of my teammates here this evening, the Patton brothers, Gary and Chris. Gary was our catcher and Chris the third baseman on that team. I think Gary also played quarterback on the football team. He was a two-sport person here. I'd also like to uh, thank uh, my family. Who uh, supported me after my uh, win in July? And, uh, very proud of them. My wife Beverly and, uh, and uh, my son Jeff and my daughter Jennifer and my son in law Josh and daughter in law Christy. And I have with me seven, seven, seven of my grandkids. <laughs> and I uh, sure appreciate them supporting me. And I'd like to share this honor with them and see you also. Thank you very much. One more time for Jimmy Ray Haney. If, uh, if you're in the room and played high school baseball, Jimmy Ray Haynes, would you please stand up? Okay, that's our head softball coach, Dustin Combs. Uh, played baseball for Jimmy Ray Haynes at Commerce, Oklahoma. Put your hands together for Coach Combs. 